Have you ever seen an individual who is born with an abnormality and this abnormality stays with him all his life? Hello, I am Saha from the Bio Academy and if you want to get higher marks in biology so you are in the right place, please subscribe to this channel, like my Facebook page Lebanese Academy of Biology and follow my Instagram the Bio Academy and let's start. Chromosomes and traits of the individual. Now, in this lesson, we will define what's the meaning of chromosomal abnormality. And we, we're going to study some cases of uh, chromosomal abnormality. And finally, we will learn how to write the chromosomal formula of abnormal karyotypes. Now, what's the meaning of chromosomal abnormality? It's simply an abnormal number or shape of chromosome. So, if you look at a karyotype, a human karyotype and you find out that the number is different from 46 chromosomes so here we are talking about chromosomal abnormality if you find out that a part of a chromosome is missing or added so here we are talking also about chromosomal abnormality now let's go to talk about an example so this human has a down syndrome what are the physical characteristics of a Down syndrome? A person with a Down syndrome has a flattened nose and face. He has a single polymer C's in his hand and he has white short hands and short fingers. He has a short stature and they may suffer from mental retardation and deformities in organs, especially the heart. Now, what is the cause of this disease, of this syndrome? Let's see. So, the cause of Down syndrome is found in this karyotype. Look at this karyotype. So, what, what, what do you find something that is abnormal? Yes, in the chromosome number 20, 21. So, in chromosome number 21, you can find that you have three chromosomes instead of two. Normally, we have two we have a pair of chromosomes 21 right so oh my god is one extra chromosome will lead to uh, a, an individual that is born with a disease and this disease will stay with him all over his life yes sadly so one extra chromosome may lead to an abnormality so what is the cause of Down syndrome? It's one extra chromosome number 21. We call this abnormality also trisomy 21. Tri means three. So trisomy 21 means that we have three chromosomes, 21 instead of two. Now, how do we write the chromosomal formula? As we said before, we count the total number of chromosomes then we put a comma and then we write down the gonosomes and here we will write one extra thing so how do we write the chromosomal formula of a karyotype having one extra chromosome 21 so first of all we count all these chromosomes we will find out that they are 47 don't forget the comma xx because i have two x chromosomes and you have one extra chromosome, 21. That's why I write plus means one extra, 21. That number of chromosomes where the abnormality is found. Let's go to another example. So look at this karyotype. What is the abnormality in this karyotype? Yes, yes. So here I have a missing chromosome 7. So, this abnormality is called monosomy. Mono means one. Monosomy seven means that I have one chromosome seven instead of two. And how do I write the chromosomal formula? I count the total number of chromosomes, which is 45. I put down a comma, and then I look at the gonosomes. I, found out, I find out that they are XX, another comma, 
and I have minus 7 because I have one missing chromosome 7. Okay? Now let's talk about the abnormalities of sex chromosomes. The first abnormality that is called Turner syndrome. So what is abnormal in the karyotype is that I have one missing chromosome X. So this is what we call monosomy X. And how do we write the chromosomal formula? I count all the chromosomes. I will write 45 because they are 45, comma, and then I have only one X. Do not write anymore minus X. It's 45, comma, X. Or you can write 45, comma, X zero. It means that the other X is missing, okay? Another chromosomal abnormality in the sex chromosomes, what we call Klinefelter syndrome. And here you have trisomy X because you have three chromosomes instead of two. And how do we write the chromosomal formula? So first of all, I count the total number of chromosomes, which is 47. I don't forget to write down the comma. And then I write X, X, Y, because I have three chromosomes, X, X, Y. Okay, but what are the main characteristics of the individuals having monosomy X or trisomy X, XY? The main characteristic is that these individuals are sterile. Sterile means they cannot reproduce, they cannot have children. And by the way, sterile is the opposite of fertile. So when you say about someone he is fertile or she is fertile this means that she can't reproduce or she can they can have children okay now in the summary what is uh, an abnormal karyotype so an abnormal karyotype what does mean abnormal karyotype it means that you may have one missing chromosome or one extra chromosome this karyotype will lead to the appearance of abnormal traits and this justifies that chromosomes are the carriers of the genetic information because when one chromosome is extra or is missing, the, two, the, the individual will have abnormalities. Okay? Now, my question is why these genetic hereditary diseases normally cannot be treated? And don't forget that your positive thoughts are certainly the first steps to achieve your goal. Bye-bye.